hello there. My name's Hodge, Tom Hodge, but you'll know me as the Dude Designs. Who? Exploitation poster artist extraordinaire. You may know me from such classics as Hobo with a Shotgun, Savage Streets, Battleground, Pervert. Well now I'm proud to present to you Father's Day. And Troma, in association with Astron 6, have kindly asked me to say a few words about it. So come, join me in the design boudoir, and let's discuss the finer points of what goes into designing a classic exploitation poster. Ladies, shall we? Lock up your fathers. It's Father's Day. So, Troma and Astron 6 wanted me to uh, capture that vibe of 70s grindhouse cinema. They would perfectly incorporate the elements of revenge, strippers, graphic nudity, head crushing, a priest, genital mutilation and dad rape. What the fuck's in this film? So let's move straight on to do what the dude does do do best. Creative classic exploitation art with big flames, big car chases, big chainsaws, big guns and of course big boobs. You know it's not as easy as you would think to create that fine balance of the sex and the violence. There are certain elements that needed to be blended together to create that perfect grindhouse poster. Ladies, if you wouldn't mind joining me at this juncture. So here are my top five ingredients that go into creating that quintessential exploitation poster design. Aside from uh, Linda and Susie, of course. <laughs> Always remember, boys and girls, whatever your weapon of choice, be it magnum or shotgun or a uh, meat cleaver, Make your weapons 20 or 30% larger than they actually are. After all, a man needs to carry a hefty weapon to excite the ladies. Add four pounds of sex. Follow the same rule as previous, but apply it to the breast and rump area. To quote Sir Mix-a-Lot, my anaconda don't want none unless you've got buns, hun. Add some sort of fire or explosions. Some sort of combustion should take place in or around the poster. If you can't get your hands on any fire, use whatever else you have to hand, for example, blood. Something to indicate excitement, action, danger. For titillation and suspense, and arousing the audience's emotions, add about two pounds of peril, usually of the female variety. Finally, add that to one pound of malicious, malevolent, malignant evil, which will uh, loom over the proceedings, just to give it that element of trepidation and fear, and blend together. <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like our time is up. I hope you enjoyed your visit and please do come again. I'll be waiting with great anticipation.